Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this differential equation. Firstly, let's expand the equation. We have y times 1 times dx, which is y dx. And we plus y times x times y times dx is x y squared dx. And we plus x times 1 times dy is x dy. And plus minus minus x times x y dy is x square y dy and this is equal to the right hand side which is equal to zero. Recall that if we differentiate y we obtain dy. When we differentiate x we obtain dx. So we can group these two together and form the exact form. So we have x dy plus y dx and the rest of the terms we write at the back. So we have x y square dx minus x2 y divide and this is equal to 0. Unfortunately, we are not able to link these two and form a that form. So what I'm going to do here is to remove the variables that are not supposed to belong to this term. So from here, we can see that this is with respect to x. So I should retain x but remove y. Remove y means that we should divide y and i have y square so i divide y square here and for this i have y with respect to y so i'm going to remove x square in other words we divide x square but then we cannot simply divide something to a particular term we have to divide for the entire equation so we have now x divide plus y dx divided by x square y square and we plus x divided by x square, we have 1 over x. y square cancel with y square, no more. And we left dx here. And we minus x square cancel with x square, no more. y divided by y square, which is 1 over y, and we have dy. And this is equal to the right hand side, which is 0. So from here, we notice this can be written as differentiate loan x with respect to x. Of course, we still have to copy this since previously already have this, so we need to copy this. 1 over x is only this part. This still has to be copied and pasted here. And for the next term, we have differentiate long y with respect to y. Also copy this, and this is equal to 0. And for the first term, since it is quotient, high chances this is resulted from a quotient rule. Let's Write out the quotient rule to have a better view. So when we differentiate u divided by v with respect to x, we should obtain v du dx minus u dv dx divided by v squared. Apparently, the denominator are of squares, so which means that v must be equal to x times y. Unfortunately, v is a product of two variables. Do not strict and think about u. Let's apply product rule and determine the derivative. So when we differentiate v with respect to x, we should obtain x times divide the x plus 5 times 1. If we times the entire equation by dx, we should obtain dv is equal to x divide plus y dx, which is the numerator here. In other words, this part is definitely this value, and this is already the entire term of the numerator. So what we have to do here is think a way to get this be equal to 0. Only 0 we can obtain this on the numerator, and u must be equal to 1 in other words. Since anything times 1, you will get back exactly the same thing, which is here. However, if you refer to the formula carefully, this is negative. But what we have here is positive. In order to have negative, u must be negative 1. Since negative, negative, we get positive. Let's substitute u and v into the formula. We have v dx times u divided by v is equal to d dx, u is negative 1, and v is equal to x times y. Don't forget we already times the entire equation by using dx, so we should remove this when we write it here. So this is equal to d times negative 1 divided by xy. Let's simplify 
we have d negative 1 over xy plus dx cancel with dx we left d lone x and minus dy cancel with dy we left d lone y and this is equal to zero. What we have to do next is just to integrate both sides. So integrate, differentiate, cancel each other, no more. We left negative one over x times y. Differentiate, integrate, cancel each other, no more. So we plus lone x. And differentiate, integrate, cancel each other, no more, minus lone y. And this is equal to constant c. Since when we integrate zero, we should have constant c and this can be simplified as minus 1 over x times y plus ln x divided by y and this is equal to c and hence with that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you